Let's consider a very simple example of a scenario where the set of documents or the corpus that we have is something very small. Let's say it's it's just the collected works of Shakespeare. which is a corpus of unstructured or semi-structured data. Imagine that every play of Shakespeare is stored in its own file. So since there are about 37 plays of Shakespeare, we have 37 separate files stored in the same folder on your machine. And that makes up the document corpus. Now let's assume that you have an information need. You want to find out which plays of Shakespeare contain the words Brutus and Caesar but not Calpurnia. So this is your information need. We are going to try and build an information retrieval system from the ground up which will try to answer questions of this form. That is, it's going to return the documents or the names of the plays of Shakespeare which contain the words Brutus and Caesar but which don't contain the name Calpurnia. Calpurnia was the wife of Caesar. Now the simplest possible solution that you could think of is to use the Unix grep command or some similar command or uh, write a simple script that will that will do a linear scan through all the plays of Shakespeare one by one and for each file that you pass or for each document that you look at you will check whether that document or file contains the words Brutus and Caesar and whether the word Calpurnia is absent from it and if all three conditions hold then you will return that file or that document or the name of that document as part of the answer. One can easily write a script that will do something like this. Now this kind of a solution, this kind of a brute force solution works pretty well and it will definitely work for Shakespeare's plays where the size of the corpus is pretty small. You don't need anything more than this. But what if your corpus had been much larger? What if your document collection was not just 37 documents long, but had billions or trillions of words in it? Or imagine the corpus having billions or trillions of documents. This kind of a brute force linear scan would take a huge amount of time. Moreover, you would need to repeat this for every query. So if your friend came up with a slightly different query, I would like all the documents which contain the words Antony and Cleopatra. Then you would again need to do a linear scan through all the documents in the corpus to figure out the answer to that query. So every query would require its own independent linear scan. So that th this is clearly impractical. It's not going to work for collections of documents that are billions or uh, trillions large in number. So the natural question that arises here is how can we do better? How can we cut down the time it takes to answer such queries? And that brings us to a better solution. A better solution is to not repeat the work for, the, for, for every query that's coming along, but to somehow pre-process the entire corpus in advance before you see any query and a priori organize the information about the occurrence of different words in it in, in the corpus 
in such a way that query processing can be much faster. So what kind of pre-processing are we talking about here? Let's do something very simple. Suppose we wade through the corpus in advance and as we are parsing the, the, the entire corpus, let's say we record which terms appear in what documents. For each document that we parse, we're going to record what terms appeared in the document. And the result of that is going to be a matrix like this. The columns of this matrix, as you can see here, are the different plays of Shakespeare. And along the rows, we have all the distinct words or terms that appear in the plays of Shakespeare. And we are recording which word appears in what set of plays. Or putting it in another way, we are recording which plays contain what words in the form of this matrix. A particular entry in the matrix is 1 if the corresponding word appears in the corresponding play, otherwise it's 0. So Calpurnia appears in the play Julius Caesar, but does not appear in the play Antony and Cleopatra. This matrix of terms and documents recording the presence or absence of terms in these documents is called the term document incidence matrix. And we are talking about pre-processing the corpus and building this matrix in advance. Note that we are only keeping track here of which words appear in a given document. We are not keeping track of how many times a particular word appeared in a given document. We are just recording its presence or absence in that document. So if Brutus appeared 15 times in some play, we are just recording a 1 in the cell for that particular play. We are not keeping account of how many times Brutus appeared in that play. 